Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Today, we are here to give a presentation on the learning and experience that we have gained regarding the execution of airline simulation. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce my team members. Um, is Mr. Dipankar Sharma, who is the head of uh, finance department. Is Mr. Susma Rai, she is the head of HR department. And is Mr. Paras Kotwal, who is the head of uh, operational department. And I'm Aftar Thap, I'm, head, I'm the head of uh, marketing department. Uh, these are the contents that we will be uh, discussing further in our presentation. Now I would like to uh, start with the introduction of, of our company. We are representing Logistic Air. Um, initially, uh, at the beginning, we were the discount airliner, but in, uh, further, in order to increase the quality and the overall performance, we switched, uh, switched from a discount to the normal airliner from the uh, fourth quarter. Uh, as said by uh, Bill Gates, customers, customers want high quality uh, at the lowest price and they want it now. Similarly, Majestic Air is focused uh, on the low price, uh, uh, satisfying the customer needs without compromising or eliminating the uh, quality aspect. Um, looking at this, we have, a high, we have three uh, aircrafts, among which two is the Emerald Brasilia and one is the Beechcraft 1900. Um, we have been offering flights in six world and uh, flying uh, and servicing our market, uh, our uh, aircraft in A, B, C, D, and E markets. We have amazing quality and reliability uh, at, at a great price. Highly skilled and motivated employees working with our company. Uh, as we are the normal airliners, we are providing low fare to our uh, customers. Rather than focusing uh, into the medium to, or medium to the high uh, income customers, we are focusing to the uh, low to the uh, medium income customers. We uh, similarly, um, uh, Emerald Brasilia has high quality. Uh, it's, it has more routes uh, and has the capacity to uh, fly more. Uh, whereas Bridgecraft 1900 has low quality, uh, flies a shorter distance, and has the la less facility and has uh, also the lack of uh, flying uh, assistance. Um, now moving towards the uh, mission of our company. Uh, uh, the core value and the mission of our company is to create a, a strong organizational as well as marketing strategy. Uh, it also increases the values for the investors. Uh, and giving the best value for money service in the industry market. Uh, similarly, um, maximizing the optimal as well as sustainable uh, profit. Um, it also gives importance to its uh, employees, who, employees who are regarded as the main assets of our company. Uh, now moving towards the uh, strategic plan and objectives. Here we are focusing on the combination strategy. Uh, it is a combination uh, between the global, low cost, and differentiation. Differentiation is uh, the, uh, it depends upon, it, it is in relation to the quality. Uh, we are providing passengers with quality service at, at the lowest cost, uh, uh, which is uh, more in compared to the competitors. Uh, whereas we are prioritizing service and customer satisfaction before profit. Prioritizing towards sustainable organizational growth, which is good for our company. Now I would like to call upon Mr. Uh, Mr. Paris for the further explanation. Uh, as we discuss further, uh, for our strategic plan for the Majestic Air, uh, we had uh, done some research, we have uh, sorted down uh, according to Bernie's 1995 PLIO framework, we have uh, we have uh, classified our service as one of the most valuable aspect. So uh, our our services are very rare, which uh, other airlines are not giving. So it is very uh, costly to imitate for other airlines as well. And uh, <coughs> with this, these factors have created uh, Majestic Air with a competitive, sustainable advantage over our competitors. So, if we look after uh, our valuable aspect, uh, the, we, we provide the best price with the best quality. That is our main uh, main mission mission of our company. 
and uh, the resources are our the the, the rare resources uh, which are only been acquired by few companies are one of the rare uh, uh, rare factors that we have and uh, operating in operating with three different airlines uh, into a fleet uh, that uh, that makes other companies very uh, very uh, costly to emit it so so as, as according to porter's generative strategy as my colleague have already explained that we 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 we, we describe as our cost leadership and uh, differentiation strategy so by providing a list uh, up to the fourth quarter we are we were giving uh, discount fare, and after that we went to the normal fare. So that 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 makes that that resembles our this this Porter's value chain generative strategy, and uh, we are a framework proves that we provide we are intact with our mission that is providing uh, the most value to the money of the customers. So. I'll, uh, if we look through the SWOT analysis, we have many strengths like we provide good quality and maintenance and we, 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 we focus on reliable service. So we have very competitive price. So we have quality planes like in Brazil. Brasilia. That is one of the best in the market. So we have a good team that takes good decisions. Regarding weaknesses, we, have, we had high operating cost and uh, we only focused on normal uh, fares rather than going on high scale so if you look through our opportunity we can uh, we have lot of opportunity to going in other routes for uh, where competition is easy so uh, which 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 leads to acquiring more planes or we can lease other planes to go into the another market so threats we have a lot of competition in all of the routes so our competition can also uh, copy our decisions. So in order to add further uh, to this discussion, I would like to call Mr. Dipankar, who will explain. Uh, so now I, I'll explain more about our performances so far. Uh, we, are, we are already a formidable strength in the industry, especially in our own segment. Uh, this is because of our one of the reasons for this is our uh, uh, human resource uh, human resource management. Uh, we have high wages compared to the industry. But, uh, we have the best in our segment. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, we focus on giving the best service uh, and quality for our customers, uh, uh, and it is very important for us. Uh, the, so. Investing in our own employees is one of, one of the uh, ways we have planned to do this. Due to our, uh, our competitive uh, compensation plan, we have a low employee turnover as well. As, as you can see, we have the best, best in the industry. Uh, marketing, uh, marketing and promotion, we, ha we have highly invested in our marketing and promotion uh, with the main focus of getting uh, more brand recognize, recognition, uh, this is all, to also increase our immediate customers. We hire five five salesperson, which is also a, a industry high. Uh, as we can see, we, this is how we uh, spend our uh, marketing budget, marketing and promotion budget. Uh, as we as we can see, we, we did not. Uh, put equal amounts uh, in quarter three, which uh, which we learned is not the best idea. Uh, but later on, we fixed it and we went on doing very well in terms of marketing and promotion. Uh, quality and reliability is one of our, uh, as we mentioned, is one of our important uh, uh, qualities that that we believe on delivering it to our customers. Uh, we really focus on delivering this, uh, de delivering our service to our customers. Uh, our our ratings shows that exactly that we are exactly doing that. Uh, our quality rating is 99, uh, and because of our 
maintenance, high maintenance. Uh, we have used level two and level three in maintenance uh, throughout the whole simulation, which has given us a reliability rating of 99%. Uh, Operation-wise, this is our statistics. Uh, we can see that our performance ha has been really well, especially our passenger load, which is 60%, and is looking like we will, we will increase it further. Uh, also, uh, as you can see, our employee resignation at the end of the quarter, uh, at the end of quarter nine was zero, and our total employees were 86. And, and we ha have a great earning per share ratio also with $1.33. Uh, here we can see our net profit throughout the quarter. Uh, as we can see, in the first quarter, we, we did not perform as well as we expected. Uh, after we switched to a normal airliner, uh, we, uh, and the demand, demand for cash also, demand also went up. Uh, quarter, quarter, after quarter five, we have done really well uh, to break even and even make sustainable profits. Uh, our stock performance also mirrors that of our new net profit, uh, which shows that uh, after we switched to a normal airliner and fixed our operating costs, uh, we, we uh, cover our operating costs, uh, we were able to increase our <coughs> stock prices as well. Yes. Uh, so this is the comparison between the industry. Uh, here you can see our earning uh, uh, current ratio. Uh, current ratio. All of our ratios are uh, above above the industry averages. Uh, in, uh, there are only some uh, which the debt to equity and return on equity is lower. That is because we stole, uh, stole, uh, sold a lot of st stock to finance our planes. So, balance scorecard is a, uh, is a strategic planning system uh, to use to align uh, business activities kept in our balance scorecard were our financial perspectives, internal business processes and customers, and learning and growth. Uh, throughout the simulation, we, uh, we tried to uh, keep our financial financials go at a good position. Uh, even though we were at a bad place uh, during the uh, first quarters, we recovered very well. Uh, we improved our cash flows uh, and so on. Uh, as we went on, we learned and we grew, grew as a team, and we understood the simulation much better. Uh, we also looked at our customers in the simulations, which increased uh, throughout the simulation on a regular basis. Our passenger loads were always going up uh, throughout the, the whole simulation. Uh, and the internal business process, we uh, had proper customer relationship management. Uh, and other management tools where we, were, we had a good organization culture, so in our internal, internal business processes were very well done. Uh, so overall, uh, our performance has been uh, good looking at the uh, statistics and other, other information we have shown. We, we have done very well. We are one of the leaders in our segment. Uh, even though we, this, the situation we are in was not, uh, not what we hoped for at the start, but we have recovered and are on our way to, uh, to, on our way to our goals that we set in the, in the start, on the start. Now Sushma will talk about future plans. Uh, before talking about the critical incident, I would like to talk about the steps that we took be, uh, regarding the decision that we made. Uh, firstly, we established a positive environment as uh, it can become complex in groups to make decisions and this can affect some people. So uh, it helps if a positive environment is created to discuss the options. And secondly, we analyzed the situation in a team setting. And thirdly, we took a closer look at all the op options, such as the benefits that it will bring to us and also the risk that each of the options might pose, and uh, also understanding every member's uh, arguments. And lastly, making the final decision, uh, we all went to choose the best option for our airline, which had the most benefits. 
So the special uh, incident that we will be presenting on is the dual designate. Since our airline was not performing in the way that we wanted to and was going into further losses till the quarter five, this incident was crucial to us and the choices that we had to make was either we to make it or break it for our company. Therefore, our teams, team members came into agreement that accepting the dual designate offer uh, was the best for our company if we were to recover our losses in the future quarters. Moreover, the carrier was also a profitable major company which was known for its good passenger service and safety. Therefore, it will still be in line with our corporate strategy. Uh, however, the offer came with uh, some additional requirements such as uh, to repaint all our planes. This was going to cost us uh, an additional of $30,000 per plane. Uh, however, this would not also pose as a problem for our expenses if our losses will be recovered in the further quarters. Even though there were drawbacks such as uh, losing the name and the image and the autonomous uh, operation of the firm, uh, we believe that it was an excellent opportunity for the future of our airline as we, re as we knew that uh, this kind of offers would not come again. And it, this proved to be true because with this decision, uh, our company had the largest movement in the stock price uh, in the next quarter, uh, which was an increase of $10 in quarter six, and the increase in stock price continued in the further quarters as well. Our company was also able to uh, recover the losses and was starting to make profits. Uh, this helped us to now spend more on our, comp uh, on our employees by increasing their compensation and bonuses which uh, also reduced the employee turnover. And we had highly satisfied employees with zero resignation. Next, I would like to talk about our future plans. Uh, our future plans are as follows. Uh, uh, we plan to increase our revenue by expanding into the FNR route. So for this, we need to invest more in uh, acquiring more planes. And we will also like to increase the number of flights. And we also plan to continue giving quality services throughout all the routes. Lastly, we'd want to do some CSR so that we can improve our image and reputation. Next, I'd like to talk about the demand forecast. The demand forecast here shows that there will be an increase from quarter nine to quarter 10, and then it slowly starts to drop uh, in the next two quarters uh, before rising up again. However, this is just a projection and it is not a certainty. So after we accommodate our future plans and implement it properly, uh, there might be a steady rise from quarter nine to 13. Lastly, I would like to recap our company performance. From the operating uh, statistics, we can see that we have better performance than the industry averages. However, debt to equity is under average. This is because we financed our acquisitions by selling health stock and increased our debt. To conclude, our company was in loss from quarter two to quarter five. However, we switched to normal airliner and we reached our break-even point in the uh, fifth quarter and we also accepted the dual designate offer in the same quarter and both of these helped us to increase our net profit significantly from the sixth quarter. Uh, we had a bad and slow start because of some of the bad decisions that we made but we pushed through in the end. We pulled through in the end. Uh, with this we have come to the end of our presentation. Thank you very much.